Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, you know what time it is. Got another package. Waiting to open this. Alright. Might get a little while here. There we go. Alright, alright. So, you guys probably heard, heard about this game that's going on, on Amazon right now. It's a little small board game, card game. All right. So this is taco versus burrito. All right. I'm going to show you guys how it works. But in a minute. But this is all the different cards you get. It says one game, five ways to play. Includes 24 cards, uh, food cards. Uh, 32 action cards, 4 action start cards, 4 tacos and burritos, and 1 rule sheet. Alright. And it's for ages 7 and up. It takes about 15 minutes and 2 to 4 players. Alright. This might have a coronavirus on it. Maybe. We don't know yet. But it is made in China. Alright. I'll see you guys in a minute as we set it up and see what how it goes. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, so we're about to open it. Here it is. This is how it comes right here. Got a couple different, like, like, one, two, three. You got four different uh, taco versus burrito. Little things kind of like Kind of like you would do in Scrabble. It's got the little holder right there. All right, we got the uh, instructions right here, of course. All right, then it comes with uh, two different uh, slots right here for cards, but there's only one in here. So I'm thinking you use this box to, to, to play the game, of course. All right. Let's see. It says setup. Alright, so we got this one right here. Alright, it says step one choose a taco or burrito. So I'm going to say a taco for now. Let's see, see how that goes on the taco. Alright. So I'm going to do that right quick. Alright, shuffle the deck and do each player five cards. Okay. See if I can open this with a right, quick. Here's a little opening, so I'm gonna do that. Sometimes they do have a little opening on the top of them, you just spill it on off. Toss that to the side. Alright, here's your four startup cards. Right here. Probably see them better now. Okay. Alright. So what I see right off the bat is you got your food cards, you got, you got ice cream, you got the hot yogurt. I don't know if anybody wants to do a hot yogurt, but it sounds weird. Alright, you got a fish head. I don't even know how to say that. I'm not even going to try, but some kind of hot drink. Um, you got gummy bears. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. All right, and then you got the adorable mush marshmallows. That's the extra two points right there. I think most of these cars are about two points. And then you have the... A food fight card so everybody wants to have a food fight every now and then I know I know I did when I was in you know middle school or something when I was younger all right it says on the food fight card that each player flips over one card from the draw pile the player with the highest value food card wins and keeps any one card from all the flipped cards tie repeat until there is a winner Shuffle other cards back into the draw pile. Pretty sweet. 
I'm about to reread that when I get back to it. But most of these food cards right here is all right. There is there there's a couple of them as you can see. There's a a one, a two, and a three. So different values on there. So whoever puts down the highest one, they win. Oh no. You got a no bueno card. Let's see what this is. Alright, block any action from another player at any time during the game. If play, if played after another no bueno card, it becomes a C bueno and blocks the block. Alright, so as we know, two no buenos is a C bueno. Alright, probably saying that wrong, but you get what I'm saying. Alright, I'm going to get through that. There is one, two, three, four. There are six of those, as you can see. No bueno cards. Alright, so we got that. Alright. Got two action cards, as you can see. Hot Sauce Boss. Oh, that sounds cool, man. I'm telling you. All right, so this action card, when played in a taco or burrito, it doubles the complete value of your meal. So I'm assuming if you take one of these, like these gummy bears, and you add this to it, that'll be another four points right there. I think you can see it. Okay, yep. So in that case, you would win food fight <laughs> alright then you got the order envy so order envy these cards are green uh, action card switch me uh, switch meals and hands with any player at the table by switching seats the person to your left goes next Ooh, it's like a whole switcheroo right there Got a couple of those. All right. So now we got. Oh, the health inspector inspectors is coming to town. So we got two of those guys. All right. So or girls, whatever it is. All right. So play. It says health inspector. Play it immediately. Action card. Discard all the content of your taco or burrito and end your turn. Okay. Moving on to, let's see, it's called the crow. You gotta eat some crow every once in a while. All right, this is a crafty crow and we got four of those. And it says, action card, take one card from another player's taco or burrito and put it into your taco or burrito. Do a whole switcheroo right there. But just with one card. All right. Uh, move on to the next one. <laughs> this one's kind of cool. Uh, it says Trash Panda. And action card is to take one card from the trash pile and place it in your hand. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you could go through. Probably not. Probably not able to shift through the cards and then pick which one you want you probably just pick the one on top most likely all right so there's a couple different tummy ache ones and normally tummy aches are not a good thing so one two three four five six seven eight of those so if i can flip one around right here Right, so as you see, there's eight of those. Uh, negative one, negative two, and negative three values. All right. So action card it says place this card in your player's taco or burrito to increase or to decrease the value of their their meal. So it's like taking out the lettuce when you need the lettuce for the burrito, or taking out the salsa when you need the salsa. Alright, so I'm going to keep on going. Alright, 
Let's see. These are additional food cards. Let's see if I could get different ones. I think these are all different. Yeah, there's quite a bit of them, to be honest. All right. So I'm flipping them around right quick. You got the hair from the mustache. You got the chocolate covered shrimp. That tastes good, right? You got the bowl of rice. Or rice. <laughs> uh, curdled milk. You got the moldy bread. You got the blood salsa. You need that for some chips. Human burger. Oh man. You got that fresh brain. That's good for a zombie. I'll put that over here. I'm going to keep going through. You got a fried grasshopper. <laughs> salty lollipop. A lot of people say a lot of people are salty sometimes. Cocoa cake. Yep. Got the watermelon. Cotton candy. Got the month old sushi. Need some fish and eyeballs, huh? Them eyeballs tend to look right straight at you if you have fish eggs and rice. Fish eggs and rice. Old broccoli. <laughs> you got the slimy liver. Oh, it's exactly like a liver, too. Uh, brown lettuce. I guess he had a bad hair day that day. Okay, let's go on. Oh, shoot. You gotta finish step one, which is to shuffle all of these and put them. I'll leave that down there for now. So I'm gonna shuffle these and it says give out five cards. These are stiff. Like a new deck of cards would be. In the comments below, let me know if you wanna be a taco or a burrito. like the video of course you gotta like the video all right so i'm gonna do it one two three four and five all right so that's all five cards right there all right all right it says made the draw pile okay which i did in here i'll put that in here after i shuffled them all right Make the remaining cards face down in the center of the table. This will be called a draw pile. And then the other side is a trash pile or discard pile. And that's actually step number four, make a trash pile. Okay. Number five, check for health inspectors card in your, in your hand. Everyone checks to make sure that they don't have a health inspector in their hand. If you have a health inspector Shuffle it back into the deck and make and take a new card. Okay. And I do not have a health inspector card, so I am good on that step. Alright, decide who goes first. Because the creator was seven when he created the game. But that that'd be kind of cool, actually. Because the creator was seven years old when he created the game, we suggest the youngest player goes first. Hey, look, I'm seven. Let's let's go. <laughs> I'm not seven, but we'll we'll, we'll keep it at that. After the first player goes, move clockwise around the table. All right. And of course, I'm gonna have a lot of people here, so I'm gonna go clockwise around the table. 
It says how to play on your turn, draw a card and play a play a card. So like a normal game, take one, get one. Uh, this uh, ingredients are placed in any taco or burrito to increase the value of the meal. Tummy aches are placed in any taco or burrito to reduce the value of the meal. Hot sauce boss can be placed in any taco or burrito to double the value of the meal. You guys remember that was the uh, the red one, the red card. The value of your meal is multiplied by four. Action cards have a variety of different effects. And then it shows you different different varieties of effects right there. Alright, so a hot tip. You can play ingredients, tummy aches, and hot sauce balls in any meal, not just your own. This continues all until all the cards in the draw pile are gone. Okay. How to win. When all the cards in the draw pile are gone, continue playing, but skip the draw part of your turn. Don't reshuffle the trash pile. So after you're done with the draw pile, that's it, the game's over. Or not, not over, but that that's all the cards you get. When one player is completely out of cards, the game is instantly over. So it's kind of like Uno, you know, the last person with the last card. But you don't, yeah. You just want to be the last one, or the first one to go out. Important, you cannot block the last card played. So you can't do like, uh, what was it? Let's see. There's another one here, I don't remember. Well, whatever the note card was. Let's see. Let's find it. So... Oh, no bueno. It's a no bueno card. So if they, you can't put this on the last person's card. So you can't do that. Alright, so continuing on. You can, okay, so we can't put a no bueno card on the on the last card. The player with the most valuable meal at the end of the game wins. Tally up each player's points. The player with the highest score wins. Right. And then it gives you a couple examples right here. You got the 4, 7, 3, and 22. Obviously, number 22 would win. All right. Easy, right? Not so fast. Action cards. Yep, so. So we're on this part right here. I want to read that to you. It says uh, Purple Health Inspector. When you draw a pur uh, Purple Health Inspector, all the contents of your meal must immediately go into the trash pile and turn, and your turn is over. This is the only play immediately card in the in the game. Additionally, health inspector is unblockable. Wow. So you trash everything. You have to start all over again. I wonder if you start all over again with just one card. Let's keep let's keep reading. Alright, so no boy no card. Use no bueno to block another player's card at any time during the game, and yes, you can block a no bueno with a no, another no bueno card to make it a C bueno. So two negatives equals a positive. All right. When can you play a no bueno? You can play a no bueno at any time during the game except when someone draws a health inspector. Can I no bueno with the last card in the game? No. It can't be blocked because the game is instantly over when another player plays their last card. When you no point or card, what happens to the card? The card goes into the trash pile and has no effect. Craft Crow or Crafty Crow. When you play a Crafty Crow, you steal any item from one 
voyeurish taco or burrito and place it directly in your meal, not your hand. Trash Panda. That's the black one. Trash Panda. And then the Crafty Crow is uh, the gray one, as you can see. All right, so when you do a Trash Panda, you can select any card from the trash pile. Ooh, any card. And put it into your hand. Can a trash panda, or can I trash panda a health inspector? Yes, if you have too many tummy aches, you can trash panda a health inspector to immediately throw your mail into the trash. Can I trash panda a trash panda? Yes, but only two times in a game. Can I discard a trash panda? Yes, you can discard any card but that move counts as your turn. So be cautious. Alright, so we're on this part right here. On the food fight and the order envy. Alright, food fight. Each player flips over a card from the draw pile, beginning with the player who called the food fight. The player with the highest value ingredients wins and chooses any one of the flipped cards to put into their hand. The food fight is placed in the trash pile and all remaining flipped cards are shuffled to the draw pile. All right. The winner of the food fight takes the next turn. So that's when you're trying to get the, the highest number of uh, card right there. And then you got the hot sauce boss that you could add to it, that red card. You can add that to it, and then you can win that one. All right. The winner of the food fight takes the next turn. What is each card's worth? Ingredients are worth the value of their card. All of the cards are worth zero, including negative value cards like tummy ache. Okay. What if everyone flips and no one gets an, an ingredient? Everyone flips again until there is a winner. The winner chooses a card from all the cards, all the cards there, there, that were flipped to add their own to their hand. I'm going to read that again because I messed it up. The winner chooses a card from all the cards that were flipped to add to their, to their hand. Question, what if, what if there is a tie? Answer, the people who tied flip flip again and the other players are out. The winner chooses a card from all the cards that were flipped to add to their hand. Question, what if there aren't enough cards to finish the food fight? If at any time you run out of cards in the draw pile and can't complete the food fight, the food fight is canceled and all flipped cards are shuffled to make the remaining draw pile. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go on to the next page, Order Envy. That's the green one with the little sick guy. Or I guess he's sad, but it looks kind of sick. When you play an Order Envy, you can pick in any player and swap your whole taco burrito in your hand with any other player. You can even swap seats if you want to. I'm kind of lazy, so I'll just probably just pass my cars over there and say, hey, give me your cars. And that'll probably work for most people. What if someone plays an order envy at their last as their last card? The mills are swapped and game is instantly over. Excuse me. The player with the highest value mills win. You cannot block the last card played. Can I discard the order envy card? Yes. You can either play or discard the order envy. If you discard a card on your turn, your turn is over. And then it says, if you have any more questions, check out this website right here. You guys can see it or not, I don't know. There it is. All right, so that's about it. And then it gives you more, more ways to play. But I'm gonna give, I'm gonna let you guys get the game so you could have a fun time 
and tell me how your experiences is playing the game and how much fun you have had playing this game in the comments below. If you have received any enlightenment from this, please uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Alrighty, you guys take it easy, be good out there, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.